Welcome back to the Channel Collective. It's me, Tony, your resident tarot specialist, and we're gathered here today for your love messages. Like the video as you come into the reading and subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to grow. Let's check on your person's uh, energetics at this time, your overall uh, relationship, who's coming towards you, or who do you have interest in at this time, how will they be, or what they're thinking or feeling about you, and how they'll be coming towards you or communicating with you. So let's get into a short message for the morning. Well, whenever you come across this delightful reading, the Queen of Cups, the Devil, Five of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Ooh, there's a lot of attraction here. The Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups. A healing friendship or a very supportive friendship, a very artistic friendship. The Devil is attraction and obsession. Hard working energy. Queen of Cups is Cancer and the Devil is Capricorn. So someone that could possibly be your opposite, right? The other sword, the other card is the Five of Swords, which is a card to, to me that imbi indicates um, <laughs> opposites attracting, right? It could be someone uh, from a different culture than you, or uh, maybe they speak different languages or something like that. So you definitely have a romantic. Um, I guess this is options is, is what is coming in as. So this is someone that you can choose to be with. I'm guessing that's how it's supposed to be coming in as, or I'm not sure if, yeah. Because you might have a choice between a couple different people. A couple to me is two. Yeah, I see the Knight of Swords. There's romance going on here. Is this like a love triangle? Or I'm not sure if this is you or this person. You guys have your options here. I'm guessing there's, there's two people that you guys are attracted to, or that this person's attracted to. Let's get more, more um, more of the reading here. Let's dive into this. This seems interesting. As a reader, yeah, we get we when we come across an interesting reading, we really want to know if it's some boring shit. It's like, oh my god, on to the next. <laughs> I mean, we talk about love all the time, but where's the interesting stuff? Because someone's gonna have to use their discernment here. They're gonna have to follow uh, their 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 like their. Um, their true heart to go with the best option. That's what I want to see. I can care less about, you know, people having multiple options and being with all these different people. That's okay, whatever. A lot of people like you. <laughs> it's like trying to throw a whole bunch of stuff, like what they say, throw the whole kitchen sink at something, or they just throw spaghetti up against the wall and see what sticks. People say, I'm just going to throw everything up against the wall and see what I catch. It's like, yeah, anyone can do that. The King of Swords. So, yeah, this person has discernment. They're very wise very knowledgeable uh, possibly good at making uh, good decisions yeah mm-hmm person has mental tenacity the nine of wands very ambitious as well could be like a traveling speaker or a creative speaker like online or something like that the ten of cups yeah very popular person and they're very clairvoyant the seven of wands defensive so they have some sort of a standard this is protection right perseverance so this is a standout individual or at least their words or their work stands out the king of wands so we go from the knight to the king so yeah strong fire sign and strong air sign energy this is like a shaman here a very attractive person it could be a model right a naturalist or spiritualist or something like that an athlete an actor some form of an entertainer but uh, nonetheless, very attractive. And then the king of uh, swords, mentally attractive, right? Very intuitive. A architect or script writer, right? A vlogger, blogger, or an editor or something like that. Something along those lines, a writer. Right? Because these, uh, the king of swords usually uh, deals in politics as well. So again, these are rule breakers, right? I'm sorry, not rule breakers. Well, Freudian slip. These are rule makers. So yeah, this person could be like a, a motivational speaker or something like that. Maybe they help people with their confidence, seven of wands. Let's go ahead and clarify the King of Swords, the Seven of Swords. So we have two sevens. Yeah, this person is like, uh, what do they call them? Not a whistleblower. It's something else. I forgot what they call them. It's a, it's a fancy word that uh, people use. But yeah, yeah, they speak with tact. And they're very knowledgeable. They, they speak uh, about a lot of things that uh, the typical person wouldn't speak about here. Mm -hmm. Possibly may not even know about the Knight of Wands comes in clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. 
the nine of pentacles is independence yeah so this person speaks about independence right they boost people's confidence um yeah very seasoned individual as well right this reminds me of like an, a dr umar johnson in the black community or something like that or like a muhammad ali type uh someone that speaks for the underdog but they don't necessarily have to be right the spiritual guide yeah healing sagittarius a well-traveled uh and wise individual yeah something about agape love or a spiritual love connection this person may be very spiritual like a spiritual leader or something like that yeah Sadhguru or the dalai lama seven of wands is clarified by the four of pentacles uh some sort of a discipline or patience copiousness right not spending outside of your means this person is possibly a saver this person is possibly also good with health as well like they're, cons they're conservative when it comes to their health because the four of pentacles comes on top of your the seven of wands right so again if this person is like a spiritualist right the king of swords or this person is a i'm uh, sorry the king of wands or this person is like yeah, this person's like a public speaker or something like that. So that would be a reason for them to be spiritually healthy or just uh, maintain a healthy body or diet or whatever the case may be. But it's something else though. This person, this this like this person, this person doesn't have to have people around them to um, practice what they preach. Basically, <laughs> the King of Wands is clarified by the Chariot. Yeah, so we have a successful leader here. The King of Wands leader in the Chariot success. Yeah, traveling motivational speaker or something like that. Someone with a lot of confidence and willpower, inner strength. They're possibly very, so they're intuitive and empathic. Yeah. They care about a lot of people, so that's what they would say. That's why they do what they do. We got a ten of wands here. Burdens of responsibility. So this person's a hard worker. Again, a mover and a shaker, some sort of a traveler. They have a lot of energy. So this could read for a lot of people, someone young or someone older, uh, someone in the public eye. This person is definitely getting a, getting a lot of attention being thrown their way too. Ten of Cups and a Ten of Wands. <laughs> a lot of people love this person. <laughs> exactly. A lot of people see this person as the star card. And a lot of people are sexually attracted to this individual when you when you think about the right away tarot card of the star, right? A naked individual. <laughs> yeah. People see you as wish fulfillment. Or oh, this person is coming in as a some sort of a celebrity or a healer or a punishment. Yeah. For you, yeah, this person is gonna spark your interest. And for this person, uh this is gonna be a, like a um, like for you, this may be very, well, for both of you guys, it's going to be very healing, but each of you is getting something out of it, not in a, a, um, a negative or selfish way, because you wouldn't be able to get it unless you guys come together. Pause. <laughs> so sexual. Let's go ahead and clarify what's at the bottom. I mean, temperance, again, original right away, the person you see the earth angel mixing fluids, this is person wanting to mix fluids with you. <laughs> the tower card, Scorpio. Mm -hmm ruling the genitals upheaval or destruction could be some sort of a transformation this person's so they're either super smart like a sapiosexual or this person definitely some sort of a psychic here <laughs> the queen of wands so your person's here mm -hmm. clarifying the four of pinnacles so yeah they want to build something with you seven of wands yeah they want to protect and build I'm, I'm getting a picture of my head um this is interesting two people on the Lycia's card. What is it? Is it, the, is it the Ace of Pentacles? On one of those cards, someone is planting something, I believe. Anyways, this is, a, this is the picture of, that I'm getting in my head. Two people planting something at the same time. Like, it's the same seed, but they, they're using both their hands <laughs> to, um, to, like, move the dirt, right? And then plant the seed and cover it together. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's your twin flame, though. Yeah, I'm about to get ready to clarify um, the chariot and the king of wands. The four of wands, exactly. That's your twin flame, that boy. Psychic, eh? Yeah. They want to build with you here. Um, the king and queen of wands. And the four of wands and the four of pentacles. Yeah. This is your, uh, this is your individual here. <laughs> this is your, your other self. Mm -hmm. That's hot.
you guys are extremely creative and passionate um, people, motivational leaders and that sort of thing, right? Whether it's your beauty, maybe you lead the beauty industry, maybe you are like motivational um, therapist or something like that. I don't know if you meal plan or prep or you're a cook, um, athletes, I mean, pole dancers, right? Your erotic uh, yoga and all that type of stuff. Meditative people. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different uh it's a lot of different stories here, but it's very good energy. Yeah. Cancer, Scorpio, success and uh, people. Yeah, there's some sort of a transformation that's coming. Because travel for me, Cherry, is also transformation, right? It's, it's a transformational experience and it gives you um like traveling brings insight to you. You get to see the world in a different place, right? Again, what goes on in New York, Miami, and uh, California is totally different than what goes on in Idaho, right? People with a false sense of perception. Let's see here. The star Aquarius and Temperance. Sagittarius. Someone is definitely an alchemist here or some sort of a scientist. Perhaps a magician. We have another king. Yeah. Maybe we're getting a painter here. Someone's like an illusionist, possibly. Like they have a lot of uh, interesting paintings. 10 and 10. This is why I was like, there's a lot of attention being thrown someone in someone's direction. Like sexual advances. And, um, you know, a general love here. This could be family, friends, uh, followers, subscribers, groupies, that sort of thing. Two sevens, seven of wands and a seven of swords. What is that reading? Seventy sevens, or someone may be seeing a lot of sevens here. Someone's more creative uh, under the cover of night. Like they get a lot of their best ideas um, at night time. The nine of pentacles. Success. This person um, isn't necessarily driven by success. I think money chases this person, actually. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles is a harvest, right? Because they've already put in the work or whatever the case may be. And then the harvest follows. Mm -hmm. The King of Pentacles. Ooh. The Patriarch. The Lovers. True love connection, right? Gemini energy. Six of Cups. Nostalgic memories. So, of course, again, this is your twin flame or your past life love mate. Mm -hmm. It goes the Knight of Pentacles coming in with this engagement. There's a lot of Pentacles showing up here. The Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. <laughs> so there's your person. <laughs> Soulmate energy, right? Soul recognition, past life memories and nostalgia, bringing healing to this, right? You guys healing your relationship or coming into union. The King and Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so this is just clarifying what we've already seen in the reading, right? Yeah, I told you this is interesting. I'm like, huh, let me do a reading. <laughs> Got this camera all up close in my face. <laughs> yep, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they see, they think you guys are equally yoked. Or that you're on the same level. So they want to take you out. Uh, they want to spoil you, buy you gifts, all this type of stuff. Right? Make sure you guys are um, having integrity while you're doing these things. You don't want to love bomb people and you don't want to uh, put your best foot forward. For instance, like your ass is all out there, or for men, your money's all out there. You wanted to spend money on someone that you haven't even grown or built anything with yet. I mean, it's your person, but still, you, you have to treat them just like you treat yourself or anyone else, right? And then all the good stuff come down the line. You guys start reading each other's minds. You know each other's habits and whatnot. The small things matter, right? Like what condiments you want on your sandwich, right? Two years into the relationship, you should know exactly what your person likes to eat, right? <laughs> Men take this, you take your person out as a, as, a, um, as a man, right? As a divine masculine, right? You should be able to order for your chick if that's what she wants you to do, right? You take the lead, you order, and you already know what she likes because you've been courting her and you've been romancing her, right? Even women, right? You can uh you can do your dude's manicure and pedicure. <laughs> you don't want nobody else touching him, right? All up in his face, right? My divine masculine. <laughs> Let me stop. Let's get a break deck message to close out this reading.
What does the universe have to say about this love connection? Obviously, a beautiful union, union coming into existence. Congratulations. The Ace of Swords. A new beginning, right? A new way of seeing things or a breakthrough. Now, how moment. You could be dealing with an air sign. Eight of Pentacles. A hard worker. Someone that's a perfectionist. The Seven of Wands. Very protective and guided person. And guarded person, sorry. Okay, so yeah, they are guided. So this person may be under spiritual protection. Obviously, if they're like a twin flame or something like that, or they have a higher purpose when it comes to this vibration of love frequency. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I didn't want this one to be too long. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. And I will catch you guys on the next one. The Sun card. Yeah. Complete happiness, wish fulfillment, joy. I'm even getting success. We know that this could be a gift, right? Creatively or childbirth. But yeah, the sun shining down on you. You may be dealing with a Leo. You may, okay, so you're going to start receiving a lot of good news, a lot of positivity, a lot of sunlight as well. Good medicine for you. Here. So prepare for happy moments. Your person is definitely coming towards you. This could be someone that's on the same vibrational match as you or frequency. They like you just as much as you like them, right? So you don't have to chase this person or anything like that. Um, and don't try so hard, right? I mean, magnets, don't you realize magnets repel each other, right? <laughs> so it's like you have you have to kind of like not move in silence, seven of uh, swords, seven of um, wands um, that showed up in this reading. It's, not, it's like you got to have to walk light, basically, right? Which means lose weight. No, I'm just joking. I like my women kind of thicker. Anyways, like the video, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.